Hey, I'm Brie and welcome to the 11th episode of my exciting European summer series. We've been traveling Europe for a month and in this video we do something a little crazy. Our previous stop in Sorrento didn't go as planned so we decided to head back down there to live out our Amalfi Coast dreams. In this video I share with you the best way to get around the coast, hidden gems and incredible sights. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. We are heading to Sorrento today. It's currently 5.50 a.m. We're currently in Rome. We've been in Rome for two nights, but previous to Rome, we were in Sorrento, but it was a complete fail. We were there for like three nights and I ended up hurting myself, ending up in hospital. Brayden spent the whole time editing. We literally didn't leave the room. So you can go watch that fail vlog. We actually have a full week blank on this Europe trip. It's our last week in Europe. We've been here for four weeks already. And luckily we hadn't booked our next adventure. We were gonna go to Portugal. We're actually gonna do a sneaky night in Sorrento before we head to Portugal. And that is what this vlog is about. This is literally all I'm taking, a backpack. This is all Braden's taking. <laughs> we're gonna leave our luggage here in Rome for two days and we're gonna pick it up when we get back. We are traveling very light because we wanna hire a Vespa and just travel around with backpacks. We're gonna hit up Positano, Malfi, Ravioli. We're actually Ravioli, staying- Ravioli, so it's Ravello. Ravello. <laughs> we're actually staying in Ravello, so that's gonna be cool. And yeah, we're gonna hit up a few other secret spots for you guys as well. So we've just dropped off our bags and we're heading to Roma Terminal. <laughs> Termini. Termini. Um, <laughs> to catch <laughs> our to catch our train to Naples. We're like 20 minutes early, so we got some snacks. We got fresh orange juice, which is very Italian for breakfast. We got some cornettos, aka some croissant. <laughs> Thank you. I got pistachio flavored. Only in Italy they'll have pizza vending machines. We took two trains to get from Rome to Sorrento. The first train we booked in advance to reserve a seat and then the second train was the squishiest and most uncomfortable train ride ever. A tip if you're heading to Sorrento is avoid bringing big suitcases because they just wouldn't fit on the train and they just take up so much space and inconvenience the other passengers. So definitely keep that in mind if you're traveling down there. The travel time took a total of two hours and 40 minutes. So we've just arrived into Sorrento. It is 10.50 now. And we're gonna go get a coffee because we've both only had three hours of sleep. What did we just pick up, babe? We got our Vespa. Woo! It's our boy that we love. Yeah, it's the same one yeah. that we had last time. Yeah, we're gonna go for a ride and we're so excited. So we're at our first little stop. It's absolutely beautiful, the scenery. I can't get over it. We're doing a little bit of sunscreen. I've just whipped out my GoPro, so I'm gonna be getting some shots of the drive on my GoPro because yeah, it's just absolutely stunning. And I just wanna relive this moment over and over again. If <laughs> okay. you are gonna do this though, please be careful. The roads are like quite windy and you can't see you. So yeah. like, slow before the corners. Yeah, and you definitely need experience. Yeah, like, I was gonna say that too, yeah. Braden, he's had motorbikes and he's, Got his motorbike license, all that jazz. So yeah, I'd say you definitely need experience. We are on our way to Positano, so I'll probably talk to you guys when we get there. You look cool with the view. Yeah, baby. This ride along the Amalfi Coast was absolutely incredible. The views were so stunning and it literally felt like we were in a movie. While riding, it's very tempting to look at the stunning views, but it is really important to keep your eyes on the roads as they are very windy and look out for any hazards. So we've just gotten to Positano. It's really nice here, beautiful weather, beautiful mountains. We're gonna explore a bit. Positano was such a vibe and I now understand the hype and popularity of this place. We ended up getting these lemon sorbets in an actual lemon, which I would highly recommend trying. We soaked in the beautiful views and did some souvenir shopping. Mm -hmm. had a little stop because 
there is the most incredible view of Positano. Let me show you. Like, I'm sorry, they're so gorgeous. So Brayden's gonna do a quick little drone um, of this spot. There's literally no one around, so, and the perfect view. We just yeah, had to stop. We just got to our next little destination. It's a little beach area. It's called Fiore Fiordo. It looks so freaking beautiful. We have to do a little hike to get down there. I twisted my ankle again on the big rocks, like the big pebbles on the beach. And it's the one I twisted last time I was in Sorrento. And I'll put a photo on the screen of what it looks like right now, because I took a photo this morning, it's all bruised. So I'm just resting it. Maybe I should put it in the water actually. That would probably... Yeah, but getting to the water might be dangerous. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. up at the place and it was really cool um, we didn't swim because it's actually gotten really chilly and the water was freezing <laughs> so we just enjoyed the scenery and maybe on a hot day we could come here the buses can fly around these corners like crazy they're so scary while i'm on the topic of buses i'm going to insert a few clips of the buses and the traffic on this road along the amalfi coast it's very narrow and very squishy and we definitely witnessed a few near misses when it came to the transport so i definitely reckon that driving a motorbike is the way to go just due to convenience it's easier to find parks less likely to have a collision with a bus <laughs> etc <laughs> We just paid for parking and apparently you're meant to put like a little sticker on and buy it. Hopefully that comes off nicely. <laughs> so we just got to Amalfi. It is 6 p.m. and we are so hungry so we're gonna get dinner here. It's really beautiful. So cool. The town's a bit more yeah, rustic, more... It's like white and more, old looking. Yeah. The is like more colourful. More colourful, yeah. It's, it's so cute, I love it. This is like, uh, it looks very classy. I, feel like, I definitely feel more calm here. Yeah, less hectic, less tourists and stuff. If that's your vibe, come here instead. So we just got ice creams. Um, delicious ice cream before dinner. <laughs> we love. And we're just sitting by this really pretty church and just people watching. <laughs> what are your impressions on Amalfi? I love it. I think we always spoke about it a little bit, didn't we? Mm, yeah. Yeah, it reminds me really of like cute. Cinque Terre, but like a bit more open and classy. So good. Amazing. Mm. Good. 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 You're gonna eat all the time. How was your meal? What did you guys order? I had the meatballs. Oh, oh great. did you? Were they good? Okay, really cook. Hey guys, so we just finished dinner. If you go there, definitely get the meatballs. They were my favorite. We're about to jump in our best spot and head to our accommodation for tonight. It's in Ravello. It's about a 20 minute drive. It is pitch dark right now, so we're a bit nervous. <laughs> But I'm excited to like sleep <laughs> after a long day of traveling. I can't believe we were in Rome this morning. Babe. What the heck? Yeah, what, that's so weird to think that. I know, crazy. Hey. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna get Anyways. the Vespa and we're just like, it's so cute, isn't it? It is cute. Hey. Here's our parking validation. So we just got into our accommodation. It's so crazy only having a bag each and 
helmets like that's our luggage the past like four weeks we've been lugging around like big suitcases and stuff like that so it's been actually quite refreshing to pack minimally this place only cost us 93 euros which is extremely cheap for in the Amalfi Coast so if you're wanting a cheap location um check out places in Ravioli <laughs> Ravello. Ravello. <laughs> as I feel like they're a lot more cheaper than if you wanted to stay in Positano, Amalfi, or even Sorrento. And I can't wait to show you our little view in the morning. It's gonna be so cute. So since I only took a backpack, I'm gonna do an unboxing or an unpack with me. So I'm gonna show you guys what I brought with me on this little backpacking road trip. Okay, first things first, GoPro, a hat. I actually bought this in London and it has been probably my best purchase and most recommended thing to bring with you when you're holidaying is a hat i don't know why i didn't think about doing that okay next is i have both our face masks and some lavender oil passports i have this little case with me it basically has all of braden's and my like charges for like our laptops and stuff but we have a bunch of cords one for our phone one for our watch and a charging portable bank got my glasses because i'm blind as a bat the next imperative thing is this universal charger i have a little beach towel and this is the only clothes i bought in here i have my pajamas a spare pair of undies a spare top for tomorrow i have swimwear and i also have a dress because i was gonna wear a dress tonight for dinner but i thought we would have checked in first and then gone out to dinner but just by all the timings and stuff we ended up having dinner in amalfi and then coming to check in i have a few extra batteries for my camera and my gopro my wallet and sunglasses hand sanitizer sunscreen actually that's quite a lot in here hey I have my keys for my car at home and house keys. Popo and mascara is the only makeup product that I brought because I'm not going to wear makeup tomorrow because we're just, it's going to be a travel day. So there's no need. And then I'm pointing you down like this because Brayden is currently only in his underwear behind me. Subscribe if you want to see it. No, jokes. <laughs> and then in here is our toiletries. So Brayden and I's toiletries are in this little bag, which he had in his bag. They're the things I bought with me. Anyways, we are both so exhausted. I'm gonna have a shower, head to bed, and I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, and we're leaving Rivello today. I'm so obsessed with this view. Like, I'm sorry. It's so beautiful. But we are gonna jump back on the Vespa and drive it back to Sorrento because we need to drop it off at 9 a.m. today. That's when the rental agreement was until. It's currently 7 a.m. We're giving ourselves two hours to drive back. So hopefully it doesn't take that long. This is just outside our door of our hotel. Isn't it so cute? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? What the heck? This is so freaking beautiful. This is like in a freaking movie or something. Wow. As you watch these incredible views of us driving back to Sorrento, I do want to mention a few tips if you're wanting to do a Vespa ride along the Amalfi Coast. First of all, make sure that you have an international driver's license and that you do have a motorbike license as well because if you have an accident, some insurances may not allow you to claim if you don't have a motorbike license. Another thing to mention is that in Italy, people drive on the right side of the road, which is different to Australia as we drive on the left-hand side of the road. You may find some impact drivers sneaking up behind you as you are 
driving, definitely recommend you just pull over and let those people drive past you. It's much better to do that than to feel pressured to go faster, especially around these windy roads. Also be aware that there are one-way roads around Positano and the particular cities and there's police around, so definitely follow all the road rules. We had a bit of a catchphrase for our drive, which was safety is paramount, which we kind of kept going back to whenever we needed to make decisions or just reminding ourselves that safety was the most important thing when doing this drive. The Vespa was very fuel efficient. We hardly used any fuel the whole time we were there. We didn't have to fill up. And when we got back to Sorrento, our tank was still full. Overall, we are so glad that we came back to do this little bucket list moment. It literally is something that we're going to look back on for the rest of our lives. So we made it back to Sorrento in one piece, which is so good. We rented the scooter from this place called Sorrento Parking and Scooter Rental. We would highly recommend it. It cost us 80 euros for the day. And this is the place that we rented the scooter last time as well when we were in Sorrento. And yeah, we just love it. So we'd recommend coming here. Extremely friendly people. And yeah, we just had the best experience. We're probably going to grab something to eat. And then we're going to probably catch our train back to Rome. <laughs> so we've just arrived into Naples. We have about and the city is crazy. We have about an hour until our train to Rome. So we're gonna get pizza because pizza is famous here in Naples. I think it was invented here or something. So let's go eat some pizza. So we got this pizza. Half is Parmesan and the other half is Capri. Also, which is apparently a famous dish or best pizza here. Hey guys, so we have just gotten to Rome Airport because we're flying to Lisbon now. We literally just booked our flights, but I do want to mention, I think this has been one of the funnest and most adventurous things that we've done on this Europe trip. Like, it was so fun just bringing a backpack and just riding around the Melfi Coast and seeing the sights and I don't know, I just felt like free and adventurous friends here too. Yeah, like I'm glad you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it. Like yeah. I really loved just riding around on the, on the Vespa, but yeah. yeah. It was so fun. Do you like a little tripod? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I would definitely recommend doing this if you can. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog now. I hope you enjoyed it. Look out for my next vlog. We're heading to Lisbon now. See you there.